What's up guys? It's Brad at Yamaha Marine Center. Once again, I forgot my equipment. We're on location. Palm Cove, Jacksonville, Florida. Got a gorgeous boat for you today. Uh, 2020 Rabalo R272. I'm not good with Rabalos. So we don't trade a ton of these in. There you go, R272. Like I said, 2020. And this particular boat is 27 feet, four inches long. I don't know if that's engines and LOA, but that's the measurement they give on the website. Nine foot six beam, so she is a beamy 26 foot boat. You can kind of see it in the walkways coming around the console, which you pretty much need the space on this boat because this integrated hard top is gigantic, uh, which is cool for weather protection, full enclosure, electric vent, nice looking upholstery. Uh, he just had the sea deck installed. Uh, they already had it cut, so before he traded it in, he said just go ahead and put it on the boat. So that was a bonus. Another bonus is the sunshade poles and then the shade that clips to the hard top. You have windless, a little wrench holder in there, and then we have controls at the front, Sirius XM receiver, and yes, the Rodan 96 does come with the boat so all you fishermen out there rejoice it's the perfect product to anchor offshore and bottom fish and then yeah, just lift up we have a bow filler I'm not sure if that converts to a table or not I think the leg is down there looks like it probably does and then we got just storage everywhere can't ever have enough stuff sorry the boat wasn't cleaned out yet he hasn't technically traded it in we got to get it to the dealership and get his new boat prepped and ready and then the head compartment all these boats everybody kind of likes it opens to the front easy in easy out more room for stuff come around port side here uh, combing pads all the length of the boat so again fishing the entire boat is possible sorry about that got a phone call anyway Back to the Rodan trolling motor, which is installed battery, 36 volt lithium, single battery, breaker right there, cool system, leaning posts, flip down bolsters, no armrests, but nice wide backrest, uh, two steps on the leaning post down there, so seated or standing positions, you got space, um, boat has 134 hours on it, and it's just now coming due for its 100 hour service. So we're going to go ahead and perform that before we put it on the market for sale. But as you can see, little glove box with your Rodan remote. This is a blank panel for additional switches. And then we got the flush mount 8612, the Yamaha gauge, and then all your push button switches. These are backlit here. Uh, Clarion head unit, but I'm seeing jail speakers everywhere. So I'm thinking he upgraded the system. And then we got your inputs, chargers. Uh, tilt steering, nice steering wheel, and it's digital engines. I don't know what steering system is installed on the boat. We'll have to get in the build and check out. But I don't know if it's all hydraulic or if maybe it's an Optimus system. But trim tabs, and then all your other buttons over here. Again, more space on the walkway. Got some tackle storage. Nice use of space. I mean, everything seems to flow pretty good. Got some tool storage underneath the gunnel over here it looks like we got some rod storage too these are tubed so this looks like it's a seven foot rod maybe and then we also have the tuna door dive door whatever you want to call it big live well back here uh, he had this uh, cover custom made so when they're fishing you can see how dirty it gets and then you can take it off when you're just cruising and have a nice clean cushion instead of having fish guts everywhere and then the backrest pops up the seat folds down nice big bench seat for cruising you have an aft facing seat over here Put this back up so we can show you the fish box the giant fish box macerated fish box goes about three feet under there man he says it fishes pretty good and it looks like it probably does Aft facing trolling seat flips up to access whatever in there. Uh, some LED lighting up underneath. I don't know if I can get that on camera. There it is. And then uh, another live well underneath here. So if you need multiple baits or you're keeping catch alive, 
We got bait here, live one in the back, however you want to use it. A uh, nice big transom extension. So you can walk to either side of the engine. Again, if you're diving or whatever, looks like a battery charger inlet right in that area. And then some more bilge access back here. Uh, the bilge access is underneath the seat. The entire thing flips up, but the cutting table's in the way. So we don't own the boat yet. I don't want to mess anything up. Uh, and then we have some more inlets here. Shower, looks like fresh water. And then the ladder stows in the floor. And hopefully I'll check out what steering systems on the boat and be able to update the listing. All right. But this will be a pretty rare trade. We haven't been getting much in these days. People are selling them online before they want to trade them in to us. So this is pretty cool. Pretty lucky to get this one. And then you see 2020, uh, dead rise is 23 degrees. So nice steep dead rise, see clean. No wear and tear on the lower units. Those big Lenko 12 by 12 trim tabs. And then the hull side, that dive door, all your fuel vents there, water vent over there, fuel fill, port side. It's like a sharp gray color. Same thing underneath the hard top. Really pretty. And then that big one that's hanging out. And you see the dead rise on the boat. Pretty steep in the front. Not quite as steep as I thought it would be for being a 23 degree boat out back, but you can see that huge reverse chime. He says it's a really dry running boat, and I tend to believe him. That's quite a bit of flair to it. And with that gigantic reverse chime running the length of the boat, um, lifting strikes aren't too aggressive, but the boat's only like 7,000 pounds dry. And I think the test that they ran was like 8,000 pounds fully loaded, so engines, fuel, people, all that stuff. So for a you know, 28 foot boat it's a uh, 27.4 i think is what we said it's it's not overly heavy but enough weight to maybe give you a good ride but if you're interested in this or any other boat that we have to offer currently uh, give us a call brad or barton 904-644-7631 or you can always get us on the web at yamaha marine jax.com thank you